Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here. Today, I want to show you how to work with track versions in Cubase. In my last video, I recorded some drums directly in Cubase. And at some point in the song, I wanted to try different drum grooves uh, for the solo part for eight bars. OK, so I wanted, I wanted to try different grooves. So I used the track version option in Cubase, which is very useful. So this is what I'm going to show you today, how to work with track versions in Cubase. All right, but first, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below and by clicking on the notification bell. So every time I release a new video, you'll get notified. All right, so track versions. Let me first have you listen to what I did here. All right, so this is one groove that I wanted to try. And if I click on my first track here and I go on the left side of the project window, uh, there's a tab called track versions. You click there and I have three different versions of the of the drum groove. So let's listen to the second one. All right, let's listen to the third one. OK, so now I recorded these three different versions. So very simple. If you want to create a version, what you need to do is you need to select the track you want to create the version from and you click on new version. And there you go. Now, in my case, all of my drum tracks are in the same folder. OK, so if you didn't watch that video yet, I'm just going to leave the link on top here. Uh, go and check it out and I explain how I set up my tracks to do my drum recording in Cubase. Um, so all of my tracks are in the same folder and I have this group editing option activated. So whenever I select a track um, or edit an event within the track, it's going to apply it to all the other tracks in the same folder, OK, uh, which is the drum folder. Um, so I'm going to select my first kick track. And when I click on new version, I have a new version for all these tracks. And then I just record my version. OK, that's simple. All right, so I'm just going to go back here. OK, so this is the case with my drum tracks here that are all in the same folder with group editing um, activated. Now, if I deactivate that, um, if I want to create a new version of a track, I have to select all the tracks that I want to create a new version from. And then click on new and there you go. OK, so that's the way to do it. And this is something you need to be careful with if you do so. Uh, if your tracks are not in a folder, um, like for example, if you're recording a uh, an acoustic uh, trio, you know, you have like a piano, a guitar, and a vocal, and you want to try different versions of uh, the chorus. Okay, um, I would I wouldn't necessarily put these tracks into a folder. Uh, what I would do, I would just select, you know, all the all of these tracks and create a new version out of them. And then afterwards, uh, I would have to be careful, though, you know, just to 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 make sure all these tracks are selected every time um, I want to I want to select a new version or listen to the previous version. OK, because um, if I only select one, it's only going to change the version of the selected track. Uh, so now um, there's that simple way of just selecting the tracks you want to change the version from or create a new version from. Um, or if you already have versions created out of uh, several tracks, what you can do is to select one of them, go into project, track versions, and then uh, select tracks with same version ID. OK, this is going to select all the tracks um, that has the same version, basically. OK, uh, so that is a very simple way to do it. So what I did to just bring that process faster, um, I just uh, created a shortcut, basically. OK, I went into my key commands window and I searched for select tracks with same version ID. And I um, applied this to the uh, Y key on my keyboard. OK, I think that that Y key is not even used in Cubase anyway. So it was like an empty key. So every time uh, I want to select all the versions, you know, when I have several tracks, 
I'll just click on one of them and click on Y, and there you go. Um, they're all selected. So this is in the case where I'm working with some uh, a bunch of tracks that are not in the same folder, okay, with the, the, the group editing activated. So I'm just going to click on Y, select one of them, click on Y, and then go from one version to uh, the other. Okay, so it's um, the best way to do it, the fastest way to do it, create yourself a shortcut, and just pay attention to that small detail. Now what I can do here is to select the version I want to keep and copy it to the main version. So let's say my version 1 is my main version. And um, I want to, let's say I want to copy the uh, uh, set the second version. Okay, so what I can do here is to select the parts. Okay, by selecting the arrange selection tool, uh, I just select uh, the number of bars I want to copy. And there you go, I'm just going to copy these and uh, go to version one. First of all, command and copy, go to version one. I'm going to delete that and paste it. And there you go. I have my second version uh, copied into the first version. So this is a very nice tool uh, when uh, writing music, when doing pre-production, when uh, doing some arrangements, uh, when recording. It is a very, very useful tool uh, to use the track version option. I use that a lot in recording and arrangement and stuff. So very useful on different type of instruments. Could be guitars, could be vocals. You want, you're writing a song, you want to try some different melodies. Um, you know, that's a very nice tool that you can use to uh, try your stuff and be creative when writing music. All right, guys, so this is it for today. Now, if you think that this video was useful, just click on the like button and don't forget to share this video as well. And again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Guys, if you have any comments or questions or you want to add up to what I did and share your experience with track versions, please leave all of your comments down below. And until next time, see ya.